Hello, I am going to run you through how you can do role-based access control with Kind. So, I have this button here that says for admins only. When I click on it, it says, oh, you are not an admin. However, if I go to my code and I change it to is admin is true, the admin button will say, oh, I'm an admin. So when I click this button, handle click is going to say, oh yes, he's an admin and he's going to push me to the admin route instead of putting that alert that says you are not an admin. So let's click on it. Boom. Sent to the admin route. It says hello admin. Right. So this is currently being controlled with just the true or false. We're going to use kind to actually get that user's role and then control the button based on that user's role. So I'm, I'm currently signed in as Peter Fanavong, which is this user here, Peter Fanavong, Peter at kind.com, and we can update their roles. So I've actually got him set as an admin. I'll click save on that. Uh, you may need to log out and log back in to see these changes. So I'm going to log out and log back in for you. Cool. Now this button still has no idea about the current roles that Peter Fanavong has. It only has this true or false, but let's actually get it from kind. So I've got up here, get user from get kind server session, const user equals to await get user. Let's make this an async function. I'm just going to pop it in so we can actually see our user. So I'm going to json.stringify user null to great. So if you have a look at the user here, there's actually nothing here about the user's role. So all we'll have to do is use this other function called get roles. So const roles equals to await get roles. And instead of showing the user, let's show the roles. Boom, and we can see that we have this, we have an array of objects and the object has an ID, key, and a name. Up to you what you want to use. I'm going to use the key here, and I'm going to say if this roles array contains an object with the key admin, then this person is an admin. So let's do that. So I'm going to say is admin equals to roles where some one of them, or some, where the role key is equal to admin. Great, and I'm going to change this to is admin now. And this is a Boolean, or this is potentially null. So if I hover over, it says Boolean or undefined. So what we can do here is either say, either put it in here. So if this is not, if it is undefined and say false, or we can do like a double bang over here and that will do the exact same thing. So up to you there. So I'll put that in there and now we should see it's going to allow me in because I'm an admin. So I'm going to click this button. Boom, it's allowed me in. If I go back to the dashboard, um, I'm actually going to print out so you guys can see is admin. How about we put it onto the page? So let's do div is admin. Cool. Is admin is currently true. So if I click it, it takes me there back to the dashboard. Admin is true. So now let's actually change it. Let's make him no longer an admin. Click save. I'll refresh this page. You can still say it says true. That's because we need to actually refresh the tokens and that can be done by calling the refresh tokens function, but I'm just going to log out and log back in for this example. Cool. So now you can say is C is admin is false or refresh it's saying null. He has, he actually has no roles here. So if I click this, you are not an admin. So yeah, that's how you can do some role based control with kind and our Next.js SDK.